Welcome to our first lesson of Eat to Win seminar series. Jay and I are going to be discussing the law of thermodynamics and its relationship to the human body. We're excited and proud about uh, discussing this lesson with you because we've seen through the years several diets, bad diets, come, come and go. Uh, more years go on, more diets come, and once again more diets go. The law of thermodynamics has stood the test of time. It's still here and we want to actually teach it to you and uh, uh, help you get to the goals that you're looking at uh, to receive. Many people that we work with are looking for three primary goals. Three they're looking to maintain their body weight, to gain body weight, or to lose body weight. And so when we take this law of thermodynamics and we apply it to those three different people, we see great benefits at the end. And we're going to begin here, and Jay's going to jump in uh, with how do we take the knowledge of this law, this great law, and apply it to somebody looking to maintain weight. Where do we begin at that point, Jay? Well, if you're, if you're looking down at your article or you're following along in your manual, you're going to see the formal definition for the laws of energy. There's the law of energy conservation and the first law of thermodynamics. And I know you're looking and saying, whoa, what is that? Uh, you're losing me already on this one. If the law of thermodynamics is so important, how did, how's that be, become more applicable to the human body? And, and so we'll start with more of a translated definition for, for application to the human body, but not only that, more specifically for altering body composition. And if we look at, if we look or if we can express energy as a calorie, that's probably the simplest way to start. A calorie is the foods that you consume through a daily basis. And we're going to say, uh, you know, one calorie is one unit of energy. And, and we'll start with that and we'll look back at the example of a person that's looking to maintain their weight. And let's say they're looking to maintain their weight and to, to have a healthy, fit lifestyle. Uh, expressing in the law of thermodynamics, that states then that that individual, and let's say for simplicity that that person is expending 2,000 calories or 2,000 units of energy on a daily basis. In order for that person to maintain their weight, they need to consume 2,000 calories too. So you have, we're expending 2,000 calories a day, we're consuming 2,000 calories a day, there's a net zero result, so that person is going to maintain their body weight. That makes sense, so it's a perfect balance. Yes. It's like going to a playground, I see a lot of people, and looking at two children that weigh equally the same, and they're on a teeter-totter. A teeter-totter isn't going to go one way or the other. It's going to be at a perfect level balance. So that's a little bit of input for somebody looking to maintain weight. But let's go to somebody that's looking, for example, an athlete, that's looking to gain muscle in order to gain weight. Where can we go with that? Uh, the law of thermodynamics states there, if the person is looking to uh, stimulate muscle, or, or let's say the goal is even to put on a little bit of body mass or body fat, uh, that person needs to expend, let's say they're once again uh, expending 2,000 calories of energy per day, they need to consume more. Uh, so 2,000, let's say they bump it up to 2,200 or 2,300. Um, at Dynamic Health and Fitness, some general guide, guidelines that we follow, uh, do the least amount that works. You know, there's a lot of different uh, individualistic traits to take part in their uh, digestive systems, their metabolism, how they, how they break down uh, protein, carbs, fats, all of those, those different factors. What types of foods are they even eating? Um, so to start off, the body, the body's always after adaptation. It's always after a homeostasis. So it, there's a lot of plateaus that occur. So if you have this individual that's consuming 2,000 calories, bump it up 100, bump it up 200, see if that works. And if that works, fantastic. In a few weeks, it might plateau. The person might want to gain more muscle. Well, then bump it up a little bit more. We find that a lot of times, if, if we have an athlete or an individual who's, who's gain, whose goal is to gain lean body mass, they get overzealous. They, they sit there and say, okay, I expend 2,000 calories of energy a day. I'm going to consume 4,000 calories a day. And that's where you get into a little bit of a problem. The body says, all right, you know, let's say Brian's doing that. Thanks, Brian. You know, you're doing a great strength training program. You're doing the work that's necessary to stimulate muscle growth. And you're also consuming the calories and the, the energy and the nutrients that I need to stimulate muscle too. But you know what, Brian? There's 500 more calories that I don't need. I'm not utilizing it. And your body then goes back into its innate survival uh, techniques and it says, you know what, Brian might end up starving himself six months down the road, so I'm going to conserve this, I'm going to save it, I'm going to store it, and that's when it turns into body fat. 
And, and we know as men and women, you know, that's where it's going to the buttocks or it's going to the thighs, going to the arms, uh, going to your hips, wherever that might be. So be on the cautious side. Do the least amount because you got a whole other problem then that occurs that, oh, you know, I wanted to gain some muscle. Well, now I've got 20 pounds extra of body fat on me as well, and I don't like how I look. So start off small and then build from there. And that goes to the third person. You know, we have three type of uh, people that look for different goals. One's to maintain their weight, one's to gain weight, but then again, there could be the person that went overboard, just like Jay's saying, and then they want to lose weight, and how does the law help them? Well, the law of thermodynamics states there that the amount of uh, the energy that you're expending throughout the day, you need to consume less. So back into our 2,000 calorie uh, example, if the individual's consuming 2,000 calories, they need to eat less than that. It's important to understand that the body is after a homeostasis or a, a balance in life. It doesn't want to lose weight or to lose body fat. So with that being said, you really got to create the need for it to use your stored fat for energy. So uh, based on there and getting back into some general guidelines and what science indicates, the first, the first place to start there for losing weight, science indicates for your genetic, uh, your genetic individuals that are, let's consider it, i.e. normal, they can lose about a pound, of, a pound of body fat per week. We know that one pound of body fat stores 3,500 calories. So in order to lose a pound a week, if that is the desired goal, it's obvious, well, you have seven days in a week, you need to consume 500 calories less per day to get you to that 3,500 calorie deficit. And that creates the need. You want your body to say, you know, Brian, you're expending 2,000 calories a day. You're feeding me 1,500. Thanks, but not enough. I have 500 more units of energy that I need. And you, if, if you're not going to feed it to me externally through food, I will get it internally. I'll go into your body. And that's when it goes in, attacks those fat storage areas, and starts to consume that for its energy. And that's how you start to lose body fat. But going back into the previous examples, we know everyone gets overzealous and it's that more is better and I want results as quickly as possible. So if 500 calories works, well then I'll drop it 1,000 or I'll drop it 1,250 or 1,500 calories. And once again, that's where you get, into, you get into problems and we've seen individuals do that and the body says, you know, you know Brian, you're, consu you're expending 2,000, you're consuming you know, 900 calories per day, you're in an 1,100 calorie deficit. So that's great. I know you, I, I understand you want to lose fat, but you are in such a severe caloric deficit that not only do I need energy, but now I need nutrients on top of that. And that's where we get into a problem. Uh, we know that in the human body, muscle is the storehouse of nutrients. Body fat is more useless energy. It's kind of dead. It's, the, it's not the body's first choice if it had to go for something, if it's in a nutrient deficit. So for those individuals, we find out their body not only goes into their fat, but goes into their muscle and cannibalizes, actually eats up the muscle tissue for the desired nutrients that it needs. And then we've got a problem. At that point, we know that muscle is responsible for metabolism. Uh, muscle is the storehouse of all the nutrients. Muscle is, is the site at where body fat is burnt in the first place. Muscle is kind of like that furnace in your body that when you're going through activities, the body fat will emulsify transporting the muscle and the muscle will burn it for energy. Well, in, our, in this example of overzealous caloric restriction, we've got a smaller engine, we've got a smaller furnace, and you know, once again, we run into problems. So it's back into that nice, safe feature there. Drop it a little bit, do the least amount that works. Maybe it's just 250, and maybe your metabolism is raring to go, and, and you'll lose that pound a week. Uh, from there, go from there. Okay, let's... Let's take a step back now, Pio, and um, let's go ahead again with what our topic was today and what our goal was. And then again is to bring the law of thermodynamics into the relationship to the human body to achieve the goals that you're looking to, to have. Whether again it's to maintain your weight, to gain weight, or to lose weight. And so what I gather from Jay and hopefully I gather from both of us is if you're looking to maintain weight, the law says energy in equals energy out. If you were to have the same amount of food, in and the same amount of calories in that you expended throughout the day, you're out of maintenance. And to simplify it, if you were to eat a little bit more, being safe, you're going to gain weight. If you eat a little bit less, you're going to lose weight. But a lot of people say that, that that's science. And but 
You know, Jay, bro, you gotta be in my shoes. There are so many variables that 